guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new welcome if you're a subscriber welcome to the family so in today's vlog i'm going to be showing you guys some of the instruments that we use in architecture so to start with i'm going to run you guys through the pencils so these are the pencils that i mean used so here i have my six h and h pencils yeah one is darker than the other then we also have the scale ruler so this is very very important to an architect or an architecture student or any student in the school built environment because this is literally your life you'll be doing scaled models especially in the first year you'll be asked to convert something that's big in reality to something small like i'm sure we all know what a scale is scale a tool to represent large objects at a smaller size in order to allow them to be read with ease on a standard size sheet of paper so here we have skills like 1 to 100 you're making your drawing or whatever it is 100 times smaller um 1 to 500 500 times smaller and the like so this is your scale rule uh for, for these like i know these are french caves but we didn't choose them so like i'm yet to discover what to use them for but yeah, you can just play around with them. I'm sure that there are videos on YouTube on how to use it. Because I can use YouTube has everything. So there's also this set. So my set is kind of like spoiled and all, but I think it's pretty much okay. So in this set, we have semi, there's no semicircle, but there's this one, the divider. I think this is the divider and the compass. So I feel like a basic set would work for first year. But if you want to be safe, like we do really safe, you might as well get this one such a covered for the rest of the years. Um, another thing that you need is the triangles. So I watched a video for this YouTuber architecture guy. He said your triangle should be bigger than your hand. Yeah, it should be bigger than your hand. So yeah, these are set squares, your triangles. Um, these are also very important. So these clippers. Yeah. So you can get small ones. I guess so I only use these small ones for the small A3 papers that we're using. But one thing I didn't like about these is that they would leave like marks. Um like dark marks on my paper. So I don't I wouldn't recommend these little clippers. Maybe I just do not keep them clean. But I love, 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 love these. Because they keep your paper clean, they don't mess up your paper and stuff, they don't leave marks. So I really, really like these. So these are the clippers that you need. And obviously you need an eraser. That's just common sense. Ah, sorry. <laughs> you need an eraser, yes, very important. And you can also get um, this cutting knife, yeah, very important for your models. Make sure you get a really sharp cutting knife because if your knife isn't sharp, your models will come out bad. The edges won't be smooth, they'll be rough and rigidy and crooked. crooked yeah. So, pretty much, I think that's what I have for you guys. But then, um, also a drawing board. I have my drawing board, but not with me here because I had to leave it at school because it's too heavy to move around with, as well as my T square. That ruler, which is like really long down and then like has a short. I'll put pictures of the T square and the drawing board, yeah. So, yeah, pretty much that's what you need, and the sharpener, of course, uh, pens because you're obviously going to be learning other courses, you'll be writing stuff. So, those are like some of the basic, basic instruments, like the main, main instruments that you're going to need and going to use for your first year of architecture or architecture in general. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful and useful. And yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, hit that subscribe button, tell someone to tell someone, okay. Thank you.